Xero is a powerful cloud-based accounting software designed for small and micro businesses. Its dynamic and easy to use interface reporting and bookkeeping features make it a very popular accounting solution. Xero also has an intuitive mobile app that makes it easy for small businesses to manage all accounting activities directly from a smartphone, on the go and without needing to jump over to the web version. So my focus today is to quickly get you familiar and comfortable with using the Xero mobile app to manage all your accounting needs. Okay, so with that quick note out the way, let's go ahead and dive in. Now just quickly before we launch into the Xero mobile app, if you're completely new to Xero, what I'll do is link a full Xero tutorial up above and down below in the description, which will walk you through the complete web version of Xero. It's important to get started with the web version of Xero first in order to set up your account correctly. Also, if you currently do not have a Xero account, what you can do is head over to Xero.com or feel free to click the link in the description below this video. This link will also give you access to a special deal that you can take advantage of if you like. Okay, so with that covered, let's launch the mobile app. You can download the Xero mobile app on iOS and Android. And after logging in, you'll arrive inside your Xero dashboard. Here you can preview basic reporting, for example, overall cash balance, your balances across your bank accounts connected to Xero, outstanding invoices, outstanding bills, profit and loss, and total cash in and out. You can also navigate down and click on reorder dashboard and reorder your different widgets. Let's navigate back. And again, in the Xero web version tutorial that I mentioned earlier, I share how you can add, edit, and manage your different widgets on your dashboard. Again, you have many more options on the web version. The mobile app is perfect when you're on the go. So again, you can see a quick snapshot of your account. Then in the top right hand corner, we have this plus icon. Here we can quickly create invoices, quotes, add a bill, create purchase orders, add receipts, as well as add contacts and upload to files inbox. For example, maybe you just finished a job offsite, you can go ahead and create an invoice. Add who it's for, and that's gonna generate your contact list. Here I'm going to add a contact. This invoice is dated for today. The due date is in seven days, and you can change and customize this based on your business's practices. Here we have the invoice number, choose if it's tax inclusive, tax inclusive, or no tax. Then add an item. So here I've quickly added my service description, then click on done. Choose the invoice category here. I'm happy with sales, as well as 15% GST on income. Let's say because this is a service that I provided in New Zealand, and we have a 15% GST on all goods and services. Therefore, we need to add a 15% GST on all goods and services. I'm going to add the quantity, one, and then the price excluding tax. And then we have the option to add another item. I'm going to hit done. Then if we navigate down, we can add additional details. For example, we can add a reference or we can add attached files. And depending on the nature of your products or services, here we can add a photo by taking a photo. We can choose a photo from our files on our phone, or we can choose from zero files or files from our phone. This is not necessary for this service. So I'm going to click cancel. And here I can save as draft or email. And just like that, we easily created our first invoice from the Xero mobile app. Hey guys, just quickly, did you know that over 90% of you that enjoy our free educational content have not yet subscribed? It would mean a lot to me if you drop a comment or hit subscribe if you love what I'm creating. This helps us grow the channel and motivates me to create bigger and more impactful tutorials for you to consume for free. Okay, so with that happy note, thank you in advance, and let's get back to the video. If we navigate down to the bottom left hand corner, we have sales. And this is where you can preview all your invoices. Again, if we click on the plus symbol in the top right hand corner, we can create a new invoice or quote, and all your invoices and quotes will be generated and added to this interface. Here we can see the draft invoice we just created. And if we're ready to send this invoice to our customer, simply click on email, add the recipient's email, and customize the subject and body if you like before sending the invoice. Now inside the web version, you can add payment buttons to your invoice. This means when a customer opens your invoice, they can click on the payment button and make a payment right away. Okay, so let's cancel out of this and head back to our dashboard. Again, let's navigate up to this plus icon in the top right hand corner. We can navigate down to create quote, and this is a similar process I just showed you, except for creating quotes. Let's cancel out of that and navigate back over to the plus icon and then click on add bill. Again, here we have a similar interface I just walked you through for creating a new bill. Let's cancel out of this, navigate up to the plus icon, and down here we can create a purchase order. Again, a simple and similar process like I just showed you. I don't want to bore you with repeating the same information, so let's go ahead and click cancel and hit the plus icon again 
and navigate down to add receipt. And let's say we just took some clients out for dinner. So I wanna quickly create a new receipt to record that transaction. This is because I'm busy and I don't wanna forget about this later on. Let's go ahead and add where you spent. Again, here we have the option to choose from our contact list or add a new contact. This is the restaurant name add what this transaction was for. And here we have popular receipts we can use. I'm going to add client dinner, then done. I'm happy with spent today. How did you pay? Choose your account, then categorize the spend to an account. Here, I'm going to add entertainment and add the total amount, including tax. I'm going to navigate down to optional details and add a reference. My reference is business collaboration with CH2 Group. I have many client dinners, so it's important to add a reference. I'm also going to add an attachment Let's take a photo. And here I want to take a photo of the receipt. I'm going to use this photo and I've added all the relevant details. Let's go ahead and click on add. Now, if we navigate over to purchases, here we can manage all our bills and our recent spending. And you can see Osteria has just been added. Now let's navigate back over to the dashboard and click on the plus icon again. We can also quickly add a new contact and upload to files inbox. This is if we wanted to quickly upload relevant files. These could be pictures of receipts, business cards, or anything else we wanted to store inside of Xero. Okay, let's cancel out of this and navigate over to contacts. Again, under contacts, this is where we can add, edit, and manage all our different contacts. Okay, let's navigate back over to the dashboard and navigate over to the top left-hand corner, and you can see the organization associated with this account. If you have multiple accounts, you can jump between the different accounts here. Below that, we can manage our files, notifications and we can contact Zero support if we need to. Let's close out of this. And that is everything that I wanted to cover in this Zero mobile app tutorial for small businesses. As you can see, Zero makes it incredibly easy for small businesses to manage accounting and bookkeeping activities on the go. Again, if you're interested in diving deeper into Zero, what I'll do is add my updated full Zero tutorial down below in the description for you to check out. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Xero mobile app tutorial. Now, if you have any questions about Xero, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.